the how-to guide to making millions. $360,000 for it, ladies and gentlemen. $360,000. Got it. Thank you, sir. At $360,000 on bid. At $360,000 there. At You'd think this packed auction house was selling a prime piece of waterfront real estate. Think again. At $430,000 now. At $440,000. At $440,000. $450,000 now. At $450,000. The ferocious bidding at this auction in Melbourne's outer suburbs is for this. A car made in 1971, the model XY GTHO Phase 3, an old Ford muscle car. This car new would have been somewhere around four and a half thousand dollars, and in today's terms, we're quoting four hundred and fifty to six hundred thousand dollars. At five hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, all finished, all out, all done, sold. Five hundred and twenty-five thousand. The winning bidder owned seven other collectible muscle cars but wanted this one above all others. What do you reckon you could get for that in, say, a couple of years? A couple of million bucks. Is that the reason, the investment? Passion. Not so much the money. I don't do it for the money. Enjoy it. Thanks. And that's the attraction. Souped-up Australian muscle cars are big business for cashed-up baby boomers wanting to own a piece of motoring history. It seems that the most popular cars uh, were the very cars that raced on the track. In other words, the manufacturers had to build a, a road car that the racing drivers could take on the track without modifying them. Motoring writer Joe Kenwright has seen muscle car prices explode in the past five years. Some cars now more than ten times the value in just a few years. I don't think anybody was prepared for the huge increase in price. These, these prices are highest than some really good Ferraris and Porsches of the same era. And I think what's going on is that there are people around who really wanted these cars when new, couldn't afford them, and now got the money, and it's become a real prestige thing amongst a certain age group to pay the most money for these cars. So what would something like this get you now? 250 to 300. 275 is probably the market. This one? Close to three. OK, so that's about 600,000. Yes. This one? Um, double or nothing. <laughs> wow. You, you've got Michael to Turner is one of this country's biggest collectors of muscle cars. His ensemble is worth more than $3 million. So if you're a muscle car investor, is this the perfect investment? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Totally blue chip. And he's not kidding. This 7 litre, 550 horsepower Monaro is one of only two handmade HRT 427s in the world. So I'd have to write you a pretty big check to get my hands on this one. Absolutely. What a ripper. Hey, Jada! The unbelievable can happen to you. And life is suddenly very Monaro. It's very Monaro this year. Monaro, my holder. All these old favourites are back in vogue. The death of Peter Brock, only adding to the value of old Holden supercars. And Peter Brock is headed for victory, the chequered flag. We've seen a boom in these Australian muscle cars that we've never seen previously. Chris Borobon from Shannon's Auctions has seen dozens of these old muscle cars pass through. Some like the Ford GTHO Phase 3, setting new world record prices. It's seen as the cool car to have, the cool car to drive. But the Phase 3 is also dragging other car prices skywards. Charges are coming up to around 200, 300,000. XU1 Tiranas, the good ones, will start going up towards 200,000. So it's pulling everything else with it. So what will be worth big money in another 10 years? Well, according to the experts, a brand new GT Ford like this one, or an older VL Commodore SS like this one, could fetch up to $150,000. One of the good things about this muscle car phenomenon is that you don't need half a million dollars to join it. You can buy a Falcon V8 from the 70s that is almost as good as a GT. You can buy some V8 Holdens and some Chryslers that are almost as good as the ones fetching the top dollar and almost have the same driving experience. So the really good thing about this boom at the moment is that people of all incomes can be part of it. Advice well worth taking. Ahead, where there are 5,000 jobs white Australians cannot get, an undercover report.